Okay, so today guys we're going to be taking apart the back of a tube TV. I'm going to show you how to take the chip off of the light bulb and properly extract the copper cone off of the back of the tube so you don't inhale some uh, very dangerous gases. And then I'll show you the other places to get some copper, aluminum, and possibly some other precious metals. So uh, bear with me and I will show you as we go. So what you want to do is take this and you never want to turn it. You want to lift straight up because if you break that here or here, it releases those gases as I said. Now firstly, what you need to do is there's two clamps on this, one here and one here. Loosen this top clamp. And you should be able to, like I said, just lift straight up, never to the side. You slide that first housing off, keeping the light bulb intact. You can see there's copper here, here, and here. So we're gonna loosen this second clamp. This one you have to open a little bit wider. It has usually a little knob on either side that prevents it from pulling straight up. Now see we have broken that free. You lift straight up again. All right, what we do here is we cut free any wires that are going to restrict us from taking this off. And what we do is grab firmly at the base and just turn until it breaks that seal and again lift straight off removing the copper cone inside and out. Now to take this apart, you'll pop off a few things free and you'll see that there's a center line on this. Now, there's also a glue and clips. What you'll do is you'll pop the clips off, remove this glue, it's a waxy type of glue so it breaks off fairly easy. Do that on both sides and this should come into two halves. Once you remove the two halves, depending on how these are made, you can either cut them free or they will come out in solid pieces. Set this aside for later scrapping. And I've already taken the liberty of loosening the two clamps that hold this board in place. Now again, we're going to cut free any of these cords that are going to restrict us from removing this board. Some will simply unplug, others need to be clipped. Now I'll show you on this board, there are transformers that are wrapped in copper. These can be removed easily with a pair of pliers or by hand. Um, there's some aluminum heat sinks. If you're scrapping, aluminum is worth after a while. You can melt that down as well. Here's a few more pieces of copper. All of the copper you want to remove so it can be removed from its coil and later scrapped. Every one of these boards will have little ceramic capacitors, MLCCs, and they're listed by a, a number C on the board and they're a little brown chip. Those contain platinum, palladium, and silver and can be removed for later refining. 
Every kilogram of uh, MLCCs contains 20 grams of palladium and 100 grams of silver. So it takes a while, but it pays off in the end. Um, a lot of times these things have buttons and switches on them. Don't disregard the buttons and switches. Usually they contain a little bit of gold. A lot of your connectors all contain silver. And depending on your board, you might get lucky and find some gold foil. Um, but that's about it. If you're collecting, um, don't disregard that TV you see on the side of the road or sitting in somebody's yard for free. Because um, usually they contain about a half a pound to a pound of copper, um, a couple grams of silver, and eventually uh, some grams of gold possibly palladium and uh, other metals. Well, thanks for watching. If you like my video and you like what you hear, um, please subscribe to my page and thanks for watching.